Oh, hello there, YouTube. Tilly Winks is here yet again, and I've got yet another knife review. I'm going to do a review here on the uh, Chippewa Cutleries little boot knife that I got. Here it is, leather sheath and all. I think I picked this knife up for around $30. It's an all bone handle and it's bone that's kind of put into brass there and it's got a nice stainless steel uh, blade to it. And it is quite dirty, yes, I need to clean that up. Uh, but I do carry this knife and use it for daily tasks. Now, I love the shape of this knife, and as you can tell, that is a beautiful bone there. I just like the way that these knives are put together. If you haven't looked up Chippewa Cutleries before, it is C H I P A W A Y Cutlery. And it's got like a little Native American on it, on the symbol. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, though. But it comes with a nice leather sheath. They make a lot of nice sheath knives. Um, I didn't even know. I'd never seen one other than this one when I picked it up until a couple days ago. I was looking them up to uh, see what model number or whatever this is. It's kind of strange. None of their stuff really has model numbers. Uh, and they make hundreds upon hundreds of different knives. Uh, I'd venture to say I saw probably about 400 different knives that they make and none of them really have a model name or number to them. They're just beautiful made knives and I'm pr pretty much leaning toward that they're handmade uh, because there's no way they got this kind of, this kind of quality and uh, this kind of feel out of a machine. But they are made in Pakistan. And it doesn't even say what kind of steel it is on it, which is another reason I think that it might be a handmade knife. If anybody knows anything about these knives more than I do, let me know. I really don't know much. I All I know is there's a nice steel blade, a nice bone handle, and some brass right here. And that this thing came really sharp. It's really dulled out over the years, and I need to get a sharpener to it. Because I've all but rounded it off here. But if anybody knows much about this knife, uh, just let me know. And if you don't know much about one of these knives and you see them, you know, for 15 to $30, I would definitely pick one up. They're very, very comfortable to carry. The only one thing is the handle, as you can see, has a lot of weight to it compared to the blade. The handle's very heavy, but it is all bone, like I said. The balance point's about right there. And that's pushing it. And once you get into the finger groove, it drops right on down there. But I like the shape of the blade. It's all, let's say, about four inches. And just a beautiful knife. But everybody, if you like this video, you like knife videos, period, about bargain knives for us poor, hardworking Americans. So we can afford cool knives like this. Go ahead and rate, comment, and subscribe. And we got more knife videos coming out, definitely. We also do gun videos and, you know, other things along the way. Everybody have a good night. Tiddly Winks is signing off. Don't do anything crazy. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do.